Hey guys, this is Candy Messy Silver at Royal Appleberry, and today I am coming with another soap, which is going to be um, a lavender. You guys know, for those of the, you know me, you know I don't like lavender, okay? Uh, <laughs> I used to love lavender, but just because when I first started making soap, I had so many requests for it, I'm just like, oh my god, and lavender is extremely potent. So, I've not made lavender soap in a very long time. I will make it if it's a custom order, but just to keep it. And I know that's crazy, but just to keep it in like um, my inventory, I just don't do it because I don't want to come in here and smell lavender all the time. So, uh, because I'm going to this craft fair, I got to have a lavender because it is very popular, but I'm going to do a lavender with a twist. <laughs> so, I looked at my shelves, I'm just like, oh, dreading to do this lavender and realized I didn't have any. I'm like, sweet. So... <laughs> Um, I looked at my other fragrances and noticed that Rustic Essentials has a Ming Fern and Lavender. And I have to say, I am very, very, very pleased with the way they smell. Love it, actually. It's so good. Oh, it's like, it's so fresh. It's, mm, it's just good. It's like kind of a, a minty, I guess that's the fern. And then you can smell the lavender. It's just very, very pleasant. So I'm so happy I have this. Yes, I am. And then I had like a color block. I couldn't figure out what to do. I didn't want to just do your basic purple soap. That's boring. So um, I'm going to use two color purples. And guys, I'm going crazy. Uh, yeah. I just scooped out my Enchanted Forest Green from Rustic Essentials. And now I can't find the container. <laughs> I was going to show you guys, but now I don't know where it's at. So I'm going to use Purple Passion, which is this one here. And also, I'm going to use, make sure I don't have these mixed up. Yeah. And then I'm going to use um, Soft Amethyst, which is this one here. And I'm thinking about throwing some white in there. Not sure. We'll see. Probably so. So, let me get this stuff out of the way. I can't believe, I mean, I just had it. I don't know where it went. Jesus Louisa. Guys. Whew, whew. Anyway. So, um, I already have my lime mixed in here. It's already to emulsification and I'm going to go ahead and start pouring it off into my separate containers I've just been on a soap making roll I want to get everything done there's still a few more that I, I want to do I mean how can you go to if you have a signature soap which I do how can you go to a craft fair and not have your signature soap of course these people coming don't know that but I just feel like I should have it so I'm going to make my real apple berry over again, which I loathe making the embeds for it just because it's a lot of work. But I do want to take it. So I'm going to make that this week coming up. And then um, what else do I want to do? I have a sauce of caramel and ginger, which I really, 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 I'm like super excited about that. I want to do that, but I don't want to do more cupcakes just because I have two sets, three sets of cupcakes in. I feel like I'm doing cupcakes to death. I don't want to just keep making a bunch of cupcakes. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Because I do actually have one more cupcake I want to make. Which is a marshmallow and, what is that one? Butterscotch and marshmallow. Butterscotch marshmallow. So, yeah. Um, so, that, that'll be the last cupcake that I do, I think. And then everything else will be bar soap. I don't know if I want that much white. So, we're going to go ahead and pour off some more for my purple, my darkest purple, and then that one, and then a lighter shade of green, lighter shade, what am I, what am I even saying guys, <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I wanted to make this white, so I decided I'm going to put white in it, just because I think it needs it, and also, tell me if you guys do this, <laughs> I have like all of my empties, as far as like my oil containers, like my olive oil and my sunflower, and <laughs> they're just sitting there and I did a little bit of tidying up in here today and I'm just like okay so these can go to the dumpster and then I picked them up and saw it was like a small drag of, <laughs> of fragrance oil I mean what, am I, what is wrong with me <laughs> of oil left and I'm like um nope not throwing that away it's three big containers sitting here and it's probably like this much but I my mind went straight to that could be used for mixing micas I'm not throwing that away so am I the only one that does that <laughs> That's terrible. But then again, it's not, you know, I don't like waste. So if it can be used, it will get used. That's how I feel. But I thought that was pretty darn funny. So let's get this all mixed up. In which um, 
I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. I'll be back once everything's all mixed in. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got my fragrance mixed in, got all my colorants mixed in, and we are ready to start pouring. I'm just giving everything one final stir, and then we will begin. This smells, man, I'm telling you, if lavender smelled like this, I'd be all on top of it. Because this smells amazing, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Um, got too much stuff here. I got so many soaps sitting around curing. I have no room. Okay. So, excuse the grody basket. Didn't wash it from the last time I used it. Oh, well, don't have time. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to pour my darkest purple first. And not all of it, just some of it. Just like that. And then, let's see. We'll just kind of go from there. I think it'll be white next. And I really don't have any real idea of how I want this to look. It'll just happen when it happens, y'all. The way of it falls is the way it's going to come out. Okay, yep. Had to get inside the mold, most definitely. It wouldn't be right if I didn't. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to do some green next and then the lighter, lighter purple. Mm -mm. Everything's behaving well. Still nice and fluid, keeping me happy. I'm actually pouring in thin streams. Check me out, y'all. <laughs> oh, geez, whatever. But yeah, I think this is going to be cool looking. Not your typical lavender soap, just because I think it's boring. I've done lavender soaps in pink and purple. I mean, of course, purple's always there. I mean, do you really have to use purple? No, you don't, but I just do anyway. But, um, just because people kind of recognize a lavender soap by its lavender color. So I decided, no, let's, let's go with that. But I have to just do something different. Just put a different spin on it somehow. And I have some lavender buds, and I'm thinking about using them. And a part of me says, now. But, again, people recognize lavender soap by its lavender bud, so I just may. Who knows? We'll see. Okay. I think I'm really going to like this one. I do believe I am. And, man, it smells good. Very, very good. And for a person who doesn't like the smell of lavender to say that, you know it smells good. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm liking it. I can probably get, well, whatever. Get rid of these spatulas. I don't think I need them now. But whatever, I'll hold on to it anyway. Or not. <laughs> and for those of you who are just joining my channel, hello. I am so glad to have you here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kenny the Messy Soaper. And I make soaps very messily. Right now I'm doing not so horrible, but... We just got started hold on <laughs> it can get much worse really quick so we'll just see what happens but i am like super duper you happy that you found my channel most definitely and i hope that you want to come back and please do subscribe that way you'll always be notified when i post new videos of me making messes <laughs> and also guys if you like this soap so far Please do give a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. That way, it lets me know that you like my content. And you want to see more from me. And when I know that you want to see more, I make more. Trust. I've made over 90 videos in less than, well, in one year. Yeah, in one year, I've made 90 videos. So, because you guys let me know that you like what I do. So, most definitely, those thumbs up means a lot to me. Because if I didn't get any, guess what? I'm like, hey, you know what? These guys don't really like me. Maybe I should find something else to do with myself. <laughs> but I know you do. And also, guys, I know this is going to be old, but I'm like so super excited. I have reached over 4,000 subscribers. Oh, my goodness. And that was huge. But I am like so... Okay, seriously? <laughs> I'm like so super excited about that. That is amazing, guys absolutely amazing i feel like throwing like a party or something because that's really cool that is like so awesome to have over four thousand of you subscribe to my channel genuinely like my channel that just means the world to me you guys are so awesome and i am so 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 grateful and appreciative of each and every one of you 
coming here and supporting me and commenting and buying soaps from me and just being so absolutely amazing i can't thank you guys enough so i mean i can go on and on but i'm not going to <laughs> but you guys rock you do you seriously rock my stripy socks and i thank you so so much i always thank you guys but i'll never stop because you guys are absolutely amazing you really really are so thank you thank you thank you thank you and here's to four thousand more subscribers i'm just oh i'm blessed I am truly, truly blessed. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop before I get teary-eyed. <laughs> but to me, that is like a grand accomplishment to do in less than a year. It really is. So, I mean, in just the mark, the year mark, I I think August, September, October. Okay, so this is October. Three, one year and three months. I've reached 4,000 subscribers. So that's huge. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. <laughs> Um, I'm going out of order. Yeah, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Yeah, this soap, guys, I think it's going to look amazeballs. I think so. I really, really think so. I'm loving that Drops Roll gas. And I'm glad that I picked these colors. It's going to, I think it's going to look kind of tropical in a sense, even though it's purple. So, I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. That's a cool looking Drops Roll, man. Cool looking. And now my soap is starting to, ooh. <laughs> really starting to thicken up not like thick where it's the point is stiff but you see it's falling in plops instead of riblets so it will it's still working and it's still going to be gorgeous okay come on oh that was a lot i keep pouring a lot right there in the middle but whatever it's gonna work all right it will work because it always does but guys i laughed my head off so about those those candy cane cupcakes oh my god that bag kept splitting open on me but i went on amazon and i found a silicone piping bag so i will not have that problem again but it was great laughs <laughs> absolutely great laugh so for those of you who have not saw that video i uh, just go to my home page and go to my videos and look for my making um candy cane cupcakes what do they call it vanilla candy cane cupcake video and you will see uh two geysers <laughs> that was actually pretty darn funny i couldn't get mad because it was funny <laughs> so yeah it's always something going on crazy with me but it just makes it all part of the fun so come on out and stop that oh i love man that's so cool I hope you guys can see it just as well as I can. I brought the camera up higher because I know I have a tendency of moving the mold to avoid pouring the soap on the camera. Um, but since I put it up higher, I hope you guys can see, you know, very, very well. And it's not too far away. If it's too far away, let me know. And I will most definitely find another way. I do want to save. I think I want to save some of this for the top. I think. It'd just be more or less a drizzle okay and then let's get oh wow how to end up with more light purple than anything else but i'm loving that green that green is gorgeous y'all absolutely and i'm still puzzled as to what in the halibut did i do with that mica <laughs> i've looked and looked on that shelf and i'm sure it's sitting right in my face and i just can't see it but oh well this is nothing new all right get these last bits in here and i was just so like at a loss of what to make i'm like geez i don't know what to do and i hate that when i really 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 want to make soap but i have like zero ideas so so glad i came up with this and i actually changed greens several times because i just could not figure out which green to use i had like a caribbean green i had a light green i had a dark green i'm just like i don't know but i'm glad i chose this one because i think it looks amazing with this color scheme yes all right um you know what i'm gonna save that white i'm not gonna put any more white save the white for the top yep that's what i'm gonna do and then i'll use up the rest of this dark purple and if you guys are wondering how this is pouring out so fluidly because i'm using my spatula to kind of push it out because it's still fluid it just gets like i don't know it gets like a little layer of skin over it so to speak not really but you guys know what i mean if you make soap 
and it's like it won't come out fluid and that's why I get those big old plops but the big plops do look pretty good when the, the bar is cut so not complaining all right so that is it for this dark purple okay sorry guys with the scraping of the cup but you know me every little drop counts okay so that's done and then we'll go with mm, <laughs> just the yeah I don't need that much purple so it'll just be I know that's kind of bass backwards yep sure is I should have used more green but I just want to get rid of some of it oh well it'll all end up swirled in together so it doesn't really matter no it doesn't okay so now wee bit of green which something's telling me not to use this but I'm going to because I have a head like a brick okay that's just enough just to break that up all right so now how much do I have? Make sure I don't have too much. Because that's terrible when you have like um, this plan. It's like how much you want on the top. And then you have too much. And then the, the single color just ends up taking over your soap. Alright, so now we're good. We're golden, guys. We're golden. I'm just in a good mood. I am. And I wish I had like an instant idea like right now of what my next soap is going to be. Because I'd surely crank out another one. I love when I master batch my lies and my oils and everything's just sitting waiting to be made. But, oh I should probably tap that down shouldn't I? <laughs> Alright, hold on guys. That smells so good. It's like, it's so fresh. It is very, very fresh. It just smells like a beautiful spring day. It's crisp. It's fresh. It's lavender. It's, it's good. That's all I can say. It's really, really good. Okay, let me do that here. Man, that smells good. Okay, so I'll take my white. And I don't know exactly how I want to do this. Probably just like that and that works. Lord, okay, you guys know that I showed you Judy's Garden. Uh, my neighbor, for those of you who watched that video, if not, go check it out. It's pretty cool. I have a neighbor across the street and she, I mean, she loves flowers to the point she's kind of crazy. <laughs> she'll plant flowers, like, she'll plant them in the winter and then they'll bloom early spring and then they're gorgeous and before they're full and mature she chops all the heads off and then cut them down and pull them up and then plant more so <laughs> and she does this a lot and i'm like why do you do that and she's like i don't know i just get bored <laughs> she's an older lady and they let's just say they're not struggling for money so that's her hobby that's what she enjoys doing but I think it's crazy because the flowers are just getting to the point where they're looking amazing and she literally goes out there and lops all their heads off so um, I guess every neighborhood has to have the crazy neighbor but uh, she does an amazing job so with that being said I showed you guys her garden all her different colors and her flower garden and where a lot of my inspiration would come from when I was at a loss of what I was gonna do and I look out this out the window this morning and she has again chopped all the heads off and dug up all her flowers and there was nothing it's just greenery <laughs> and I know like the fall is coming okay I know but geez Judy just let them hang out a little bit longer because they're able to survive survive and they were like in full bloom and they're just so gorgeous but they're gone so I'm glad I did get pictures of them and was able to show with you guys before she killed them all <laughs> so yeah I think that's hilarious but she does this every year so this is nothing new okay so yeah I want it mostly white top and I don't know if I'm gonna do peaks or what I'm gonna do but so but every time I move this spatula I'm telling you guys this smells amaze balls okay absolutely I think I will put a couple of lavender buds on here yep just a little bit I think it'll look cool with the three colors that I'm putting on the top actually let me see I think I'm gonna do purple first and then top it off with the green in that way my lavender buds will stand out they won't get lost in this purple color 
yeah um, this is this is a good fragrance this is like i think my favorite lavender fragrance now it is because i've always enjoyed lavender but like i said it was just too much and i was using essential oils and i'm just like man 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 i don't like this <laughs> and you know what again guys you guys are just so amazing it's just it's so trippy to me how you guys just support me and i think it is amazeballs i was on instagram uh the other day and one of my subscribers i thought that was just so amazing she we were talking about oh making lavender soap and she's just like yeah i know you really don't like lavender and i know you can't have oranges and she's like i'm not a stalker it's strange that i know that no i don't think you're a stalker i think that's amazing that you guys know so much about me because you pay attention you know and that is so super great i think those are super fans those are fans that you know you just know got your back no matter what and they support you and i just i love you guys i love you guys so much again i say that all the time but i do i really do and i'll never stop saying it because you guys are awesome you really really are but that stuff right there that kind of stuff right there is what make me keep coming back and posting videos because i am loved i am truly truly loved and that's an amazing feeling it really is so thank you guys again and i'm gonna stop getting sappy but it's just it is truly amazing <laughs> truly truly no i don't think any of you who know anything about me or you know tell me things that i've said in videos no matter how long ago they were i don't find that weird i don't find that as you being a stalker i've had a couple of you contact me just to say hi and they're just like i know you think that's weird and i'm sorry no i think it's awesome so thank you thank you thank you greatly appreciate it you guys rock okay i'm gonna stop repeating myself now <laughs> okay so we're at the last drags of this green and i love it love it love it love it love it yes i do mm -hmm. sure do so happy i came in here and got this soap out the way just because i needed to and i wasn't sure but i'm so glad that i picked these colors then i get to go and wash a whole bunch of soap dishes <laughs> yeah <laughs> hate it i've been washing soap dishes for two days all right guys i don't know exactly what i'm going to do in well i'll give that smackdowns okay now let's see i'm just curious to try something like maybe do one side don't ask me what i'm doing exactly because i don't know yet And again, I've learned to stop over swirling my soaps. I do listen to you all, especially when you yell at me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave that side like that. Why do I want to do two different textures on the top? I don't know. And right now, I honestly feel like, I'm going to bring you guys down so you can see. But I honestly feel like this soap is too foolish to do anything with right now. But um, I'm just going to see. I'm just going to see. I mean, I, I got jojoba beads on here. I do not want red jojoba beads in my soap. Put that out of there. And I have tufts of soap everywhere all over this room. I swear it. It's like, am I going bald? Of course not. <laughs> because my hair is not that color. But it's always everywhere. Because I kind of pulled apart. And, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I pull it apart and it just kind of flies into the air so it ends up landing on my soaps. So, yeah, I got Tussa silk everywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm liking this. And there was a purpose in me doing these two different sides. And I'll show you in a minute. I even still could have pushed that over just a wee bit further. Just bear with me guys just bear with me man I keep saying it but this smells great absolutely probably should have did this side first and then swirl the other side but no matter no matter at this point mm -mm. perfect okay so now 
I'm gonna sprawl that in a little bit again. Yeah, I probably should have done this side first. But that's cool just like that. So I'm gonna leave it. And now what I'm going to do is add my lavender buds. That's the reason why I did it like this. Now I'm unsure of which side I'm going to put it on. Probably, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. And I'm not, it's just gonna be a light dusting. I'm not gonna go crazy with the lavender. Part of me wants to put a little bit of glitter on this, but um, maybe I will. I don't know what colors I have that I'm going to use. Oh, throw my gloves around, guys. Okay, so let's see. This big old bag of lavender. Mm. Yeah, I'll put it on this side. I kind of want it just like in this little trench that I made. <laughs> um, not really on the top. My hands are so sweaty for those gloves. I'm not going to go crazy with the lavender. Just a little bit. Because lavender has a tendency of turning black when you put it on CP soap. So I don't want any black buds in my soap. Okay, I don't know. Mm, yeah. Do I love it? Not really. <laughs> It'll work though. Oh, geez, this bag was so stuffed with lavender. Now I can't close it. Let's see if I can get it back closed. Okay, yeah, I can deal with that later. Um, it's like everything is torn and have a cut and all these fun things. So, okay, I'm going to take my skewer. You kind of pull those down a little bit. And yeah, I feel like I need some glitter. I'm not going to bore you guys to death with me poking down this glitter. Actually, I'm not going to poke it down because whatever falls off just falls off. Yeah, I actually shouldn't even put the glitter on it. I mean, the glitter. The, uh, the lavender on it just because I hate drag marks. Okay, guys, let me find... Let me find some... I kind of want to mess with it again. got to find some glitter that's going to be cool for this. I know you guys are yelling at me. I'm sorry. Why are you doing that? Stop messing with it. <laughs> I know. Okay, at least clean up the sides a little bit. Okay. So now, let me find a glitter. I do have some glitters from our E, which is Rustic Essentials. Let's see what's in here. I keep them all in this little baggie. I know I want to do some snowflake. Yep, I do. So where's my little pipette that I use for sucking up my glitters? Yeah, oh that's gorgeous, y'all. Absolutely. Just a little bit more. I don't want to make it too crazy. And really, what should have happened is this side should have went over to about here. But too late. Okay? Because I feel like it looks a little off, but I think it's going to look pretty cool once it's cut. Okay. <laughs> I'm still shaking. Oh, look. Let me see. I got this. That's really pretty. And then, what else do we have in this little container? I think... Yeah, some lavender frost. Okay, we'll do a wee bit of lavender. I mean, lavender soap, <laughs> lavender glitter. Hello, goes hand in hand. Okay, maybe I'll just. Oh gosh, that's like far too much, and I can't seem to stop myself. <laughs> oh, so dumb. <laughs> oh, that's a lot, and I'm still adding. Imagine that. Okay, so. That's it. I just felt like I need to put that all on there. That's terrible. But it gave it life. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. Nice and sparkly. Nice and sparkly. So, that's all. No more glitter, guys. 
but yeah there's like a whole lot of glitter right there that's not what i wanted and now i kind of want to pick off these lavender buds but too late let's see what do i think hmm. okay so this is my it's gonna i'm gonna leave it ming fern and lavender i like the name it's fitting I wonder if you guys can see the lavender buds, can you? And all that glitter just put on top of that. So that is it. If you do like this soap and all this glitter, <laughs> give a thumbs up. <laughs> if you think I put too much, give a thumbs up for that too, because I know I did. <laughs> but it's all right. I love glitter. Glitter makes me happy and makes lots of people happy as well. And I think it looks good, except for that one little blob. But anyway, so guys, I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you again for being amazing and awesome and just keep being awesome and keep leaving comments and coming back. You guys are loved so much by me. I mean, big time love by me. So guys, that is it until, until next time when I do the cutting video, because there's always a cutting video, guys. Don't you know? Until then, I'll see you later. Bye.